What can you expect following a tetanus vaccination? Well, according to the Mayo Clinic, there are certain side effects or mild injuries that you may experience like redness or swelling at the injection site, maybe even a, a hard lump or knot at the injection site, or a mild fever or body aches following the tetanus vaccine. Now Mayo tells us that all of these side effects or injuries will be mild and will usually only last a couple of days or maybe even a few hours. How would you know if you had serva from a tetanus shot? Well, according to the medical literature, if you have shoulder pain within 48 hours of receiving the vaccine and the shoulder pain is more painful than usual, you know, more than just injection site swelling or, or pain, and even some range of motion issues as well, then there is a possibility that you've experienced a serva injury. And it would be important to seek medical attention as soon as possible. Now, serva itself is not a diagnosis. So both the medical literature and the vaccine injury compensation program's own definition includes some diagnoses that can be associated with serva. And those are tendonitis, bursitis, adhesive capsulitis, frozen shoulder impingement syndrome. All of these diagnoses can be associated with serva. Um, and there's really no difference between you know, any other shoulder inflammation injury. The only difference here is that your symptoms began with a tetanus vaccine. Now, there are a number of treatment options that the medical literature uh, recommends. Um, most of them are conservative treatments, such as physical therapy or cortisone shot injections or anti-inflammatory medications. Sometimes uh, the injury is severe enough to warrant a surgical procedure to repair the damage that was done <clears throat> by the vaccination. If you believe that you may have suffered a serva injury due to a tetanus vaccine, I would encourage you to contact our office at 312-578-9501 for a free consultation.